Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. This is going to be kind of a quick little layout. Um, I haven't worked in my COVID-19 book in a while. And so today I went through and printed up some of the pictures from this spring. So the one I'm going to do today, I'm just going to do a one page because I only have one picture. And it's of my son. Now I've already scrapped this picture for his um, birthday when he turned 28 but I just want to write about how I wasn't able to be with him for his birthday because you know moms like to be with him so because this is getting chunky and his birthday's in early April I'm not going to back it with paper because it's already kind of thick so I'm, I'm kind of doing a couple layouts that are not using pattern background but using other materials and so that's what I wanted to show you today one of the things that we can use is our planner stickers which I have here but also washi and so that's what I'm going to do on this layout is I'm just going to um, use some washi so um, the layout's just going to have washi at the top that says oh happy day and I think I need to turn this because otherwise I can't go straight Actually, it'd be kind of cute down the side. Let's do that on the side, because that way I get more of the washi on there. And then I can just trim it evenly. So I'm going to run this washi here, like this. And I just need my scissors. And then there is this other washi here. I kind of liked because it was kind of a confetti. And I'm going to do two things with this one. The first is I'm going to run another strip of it down the side. That's why I'm leaving my book kind of sideways still. If I can find the end. Alright, so we'll just do one like this. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make kind of a mat for the picture to go on. And I don't, I kind of want it messy. I don't want it to have necessarily it be um, even. So I'm just going to go ahead and just run a little bit. Try and make it straight at least, even though it's going to be messy. And this makes it then thinner for my book. It doesn't have to be um, something um, real chunky and take up a lot of, um, you know, I like the chunky look of the books, so don't get me wrong, I, I do love that whole chunky look, but I've got still, if this is only April, even though my year has not been very busy, there's a lot more to put into my book. Um, so, and it, I'm gonna, with the book, I've decided I'm going up through, um, I won't include December in here because I am going to do um, a December daily. I don't know if it's, still haven't decided if I want to do the Project Life or if I want to do um, the the 6x8 notebook. I'm kind of leaning towards Project Life still. And I think it's not going to be my traditional. I think it's going to be more of... Um, like a gratitude type uh, or a remembrance kind of a season mixed in with some current activities. So if I do something like putting up the Christmas tree or sending out my Christmas cards, those will be documented and I'll take pictures. But then in between on the days that I don't have something, I might try and take just a picture and um, do something of a remembrance. So that's going to be kind of what that's going to look like. Now I've got these stickers here and they're just kind of, these are just from a planner sticker book um, that is me and my big ideas and I probably got it like at Michael's or Hobby Lobby when they were on sale. So I kind of like the yay. So we're going to put that I think up above. Maybe I'll do the happy birthday with a yay off of it. And I'll stick it under. 
underneath. Okay, I like that. And then since this is his cake, maybe I'll do something like here with a cake. And this is happy day, but I wanted to say happy birthday. And these are a couple want to say birthday. So maybe I can fit this in. Happy. Birthday. Maybe a balloon. Actually, we'll go with a little banner. Like so. And then maybe a little bit of confetti stuff. They've got these little asterisks. do three of those and that is it very simple very easy and then I can just do my journaling around him talking about his 28th birthday so I will be back again this week with another layout like I said I printed a whole bunch of these pictures so there are things like doing um, fixing up my yard oh, where did my stat go um, fixing up my yard, doing things that needed to get done around the house. So I figure if I can do a few of these quick uh, pages, like the next one is going to be my son's dogs. And um, his now fiance sent me like pictures of the fur babies. So I figure I'll go ahead and do... Actually, you know what? Let's just do it right now while I have you on here. No sense waiting because this will all work and I can carry it over. So let's just go ahead and do the other washi down the other side. Like so. And I'll just trim that off. And then that just carries the... Um, the confetti over. I don't have to, um, let's see, how can I do this one? Because I've got this little puppy right here. So he's really cute. This is um, an Amy Tan sticker book. I haven't even used it yet. I kind of like this puppy. How can I fit them in? So I kind of like it down here. Because he looks like he's playing. like that. Let's see what else we have in here because I want to fit something here. Oh, here's another puppy. And there's some paw prints. So let's go ahead and put this puppy here. We'll put that picture there. I might tuck them under. So let me go ahead and take this off. Make 
sure that looks straight. And then I'm just going to put this underneath it. I'm not sure which which set this comes from. I've had it for a while. Let's see what else we can find here. These are um, my son's got two dogs. This is um, Lucy, who's part shepherd, and then he has a, a big Newfoundland mix. So they're my my grandbabies. Oh, there is flowers. I always go with flowers. I know I want the paw print. So let me go ahead and put the paw print right, like right there. And I kind of like the um quarantine life real real life and quarantine buddy real life totally can this is real life um, I can put their names Let's do their names. So we got Bear, and And I'm trying to kind of, again, stick with the colors that were on my son's birthday page, kind of, sort of, a little bit. So I'm sticking with more of like that green, the blues. And I may have to stick a little bit of glue underneath these. They look like they're riding up a little bit. And we got a green. So bear. And let's see if there's an ampersand. I don't see an ampersand, but there was a heart. could use a pretzel as an ampersand, but I think only I would understand that. <laughs> and we're going to put the real, this is real life up above. I think that would be cute right there. This is real life. Spell out Lucy. And then I'll find something for an ampersand. And then we just need an L. And we'll go with pink because she's a girl. 
and I'm thinking I'm going to do a flower right here, but then I'll put a heart with it. There we go. That doesn't stand up enough. Let's put the, this heart up here. There's a yellow one. Let me see if the yellow one stands off a little bit more. Or the pink. The pink will probably stand up again. Yep, pink looks a little better. So there we go. Two layouts done in my uh, COVID-19 Remembrance um, Traveler's Notebook. Again, keeping it very simple, using up some of those washi tapes and some of these um, sticker books. I want to thank you for joining me today and stop back. Um, I should have another couple layouts in here because like I said, I've kind of neglected it. And so I'm going to try and get this caught up a little bit and at least get it to summertime because um, like I said, I'm going to end this probably November-ish and then I'll finish the year using the other Project Life or um, Traveler's Notebook that I have picked out for um, my December daily. So I want to thank you so much for joining me today, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.